Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to have a little bit, kind of a get ready with me, but I did plan this out as not really like a spontaneous sort of thing. So today I was truly, truly inspired by a picture that I found on Instagram and it is this one right here. I was just scrolling through like the makeup pages so I really genuinely forgot um, who posted this. Oh, okay, it says it right here. I'm sorry. Um, it's Insta Makeup. It's just like a makeup page. And I was truly inspired by this like really nice bronzy look on the eyes. So we're going to attempt that today. And I am, of course, going to put my own little spin on it. I have all of my eyeshadows right here. That way I can kind of mix and match and I'll tell you guys what I'm using and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing today. I don't know what I'm going to call this video yet. It's probably going to be like a copper slash bronzy summer makeup look, something like that. Um, but yeah, so uh, if you want to figure out how to more or less get this look or at least my version of this one then keep watching remember guys to like and subscribe before we keep going so if you're not subscribed to me yet please do that now and uh click the little button you know you want to you know you want to so um yeah i post videos every wednesday and sunday wednesdays are at 6 p.m and then uh, sundays at um 3 p.m so wednesdays at 6 sundays at 3 and yeah just you want to get ready with me then keep on watching clip up this hair okay so I've already washed my face I put on my moisturizer and just a little bit like of a moisturizing primer that I have it's from lush I really forgot the name of it but it's really nice it fills in your pores very nicely and I'm gonna start with the eyes today that's what I'm mainly going to do because I really want to get this eye look down so I'm gonna mix and match and see what I can come up with here okay so I'm going to go in with the fifth edition of BH Cosmetics 120 color eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna stick to the very first tray right here and I'm gonna kind of mix and match these two brown shades here for the crease so just take any fluffy brush that you have I'm just gonna mix them together. Oh, get them there. And what am I doing? What am I doing? I need to prime my eyes first. Ah! Okay, let's try this again. And never mind. I'm still gonna use those two shades, but I'm gonna prime my eyes first. Oh my goodness! It's like I get pull, pull yourself together. Okay, now that our eyes are ready to go, then we can put eyeshadow on. I have no clue what I was thinking. And by the way, um, to prime my eyes, all I did was use Maybelline's Better Skin Concealer and Airspun Face Powder to set the concealer on my eyes. That's all I did. All right, now I'm going in with the two shades. All I'm doing is focusing this shade right here on the crease. I'm kind of going all over, lower and upper crease, just to get that in there. But the one thing that I'm definitely doing is bringing this upwards so that crease shade can still, you know, kind of sort of pop in the middle, uh, middle. in the middle of all the glitter that we're going to be using as well. Well shimmer actually I'm gonna be using some pigments so I do want to bring in some of that dark like chocolatey brown in especially in that lower part of our crease so I'm gonna get a more like percent precise hold yourself together I'm gonna get like a brush like this it's a little bit more precise a little bit more dense not as fluffy as this one this one's the morphe 441 this one is the e22 from morphe so I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna go in with the Milani palette and this palette I where's the name of it oh this is called must-have neutrals it's a very again very neutral palette but I want to go in with that really pretty like chocolatey brown right there
so next I'm going to bring in more uh, darkness into the outer corner of my eyelid here. And I'm going to be using Maybelline Single Eyeshadows. This one's in the shade Night Sky. It's really pretty. It has a little bit of shimmer in it, as you can see, but it doesn't really pick up on the eyes. Like, you mainly get um, just like a matte shade, which is kind of weird. You would think this would be a little bit more sparkly, but um, it does work out for this color. And then I'm going to pack on another uh, black eyeshadow just in those outer corners. So I'm going to take a little bit more of a precise brush and bring it right out here. Okay, so now we're going to pack on some pigment. I'm going to be using BH Cosmetics Foil Eyeshadow Palette right here, and I'm going to go in with this really nice copper shade right here. It's very beautiful, and that's going to serve as our base for pretty much in our entire lid. And I'm just taking any flat shader brush here. I'm using the Wet n Wild uh, Flat Eyeshadow Brush, and I'm going to spray it with Milani's Make It Last a setting spray just to make that foil eyeshadow pop. in with Maybelline's color tattoo this is the pigment it's not the cream um, color tattoo because there's two different ones there's a cream and a pigment um, and this one is in the shade breaking bronze and it's super pretty super gorgeous and it's this really nice like bronzy color so we're gonna place that mainly in the center of our eye but if it gets all over I mean oh well I told you I'm putting my own little spin to it I use it as inspiration. I know I basically like covered up all the shadow, but if you take a really close look, it, you have a little bit of a mix between that copper and the bronze. And it looks really cool doesn't really pick up on on camera but it looks pretty cool I'm back in with the Milani palette and I'm gonna use that really really dark black all you need is a teeny tiny little bit make sure it tapped off and then I'm gonna kind of redo the outer corner because it got basically blocked with all the pigment and just kind of bring that outer corner back to life. Sounds like Night of the Museum. I've come back to life. <laughs> Have you guys ever seen that movie, Night of the Museum 2? Where Common Ra is like telling him or telling the main character. Gosh, I can't remember his name now. Ben Stiller, there we go. Ben Stiller, he's telling Ben Stiller's character, I am coming raw and I've come back to life. I know, I'm weird. Eyeliner. 
and lashes are done. I actually put on some false lashes because this look looks really nice with false lashes. So I used the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner in Blackest Black for my eyeliner and I did a wing liner today. And my mascara, I use L'Oreal's Voluminous Carbon Black. And then for my lashes, it's by the brand Kiss. You can find this at the drugstore and it's their Lash Couture Faux mink collection they have a few uh, mink lashes which is awesome and then this the ones that I have here are called little black dress so they're like they're dramatic but not too dramatic and they go longer at the edges it gives a nice little like cat eye look which I like so those are the lashes that I'm using and then for uh, my face we're gonna go to that next Okay, so for my foundation and concealer, I am going to use Milani's Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Concealer and Foundation. This is in the shade Sand. It pretty much all, almost goes in my skin tone. I'm a little bit darker, and also the lighting that I have does not help. I promise you that my uh, foundation does more or less match the rest of my body, but my this is very, very like light, and my body's very dark because I've gotten a tan since then. Usually in the winter time, I'm pretty much all the same shade. But I'm gonna be mixing this foundation with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus uh, foundation in the shade Desert Beige. I really love this foundation, it's really nice. But I'm gonna put in a little bit more of the Milani rather than the Wet n Wild because I'm a little bit darker. And for my concealer, which I did not bite, uh, bite, I did not buy a darker version of the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because they are $25 and yeah, girl does not want to spend that much money. Um, I will buy another one when I need to replace it. Plus, um, the peak of summer is, yeah, it'll be over in about September. I can, I can go with it, I can blend it out. But this is in the shade Light Medium Honey because I bought this closer to the winter time, so. Yeah, it's a little bit lighter, but we'll blend that out very easily. And first of all, for my primer, I run out of the Benefit Professional um, Matte Gel Primer. So I'm gonna use uh, the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Priming Perfector. So I'm gonna use that instead. Okay, so now that my face is completely done with foundation and concealer, I'm going to scrape up whatever I have left of my Laura Mercier translucent powder because this powder is the bomb and I am going to scrape it to like the very, very end because girl, this, this powder is expensive. So, but I've never used anything as good as this powder, especially for like the under eyes. So I'm gonna take my beauty sponge and tap that underneath. I'm also placing this in spots where I know I know that I know and I know I get oily throughout the day and it sucks 
So, yeah. And to set the rest of my face, I'm going to use uh, the Airspun powder. And again, I said this before, and I'm going to say it again, because the way it smells sucks. It smells like an old lady, but it really helps to have your makeup stay on. I usually put it on with a beauty sponge for the rest of my face, but for today, I really don't feel like doing that, so I'm just going to take a regular just powder brush, whatever brush you have, and just tap that on the rest of my face. Because I have such like oily skin, I really want this to be matte. If you have dry skin, you really don't want to do this because it'll definitely dry you out for sure. But I do it because I break out with oil throughout the day anyway. For my bronzer, I'll be using the Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze in the shade Dark to Deep. It is a beautiful, beautiful bronzer. Absolutely love this. Now we have our brows. The power of editing, right? So glad we have that. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the eyes real quick. Placing Milani's Stay Put Waterproof Eyeliner in my waterline. And then I'm going to go back with that, I can get it open. I'm gonna go back with that black shade right here with a eyeliner brush, like a very defined eyeliner brush. You can see how flat that is. And set that eyeliner in place so it doesn't move all day. You're basically tight lining it really, really close to your waterline. Smaller brush, we're going to blend out the lower lash line. I'm going to go back with um, a couple of our crease shades. So I'm going to use the dark chocolate, not dark, but it's like a chocolate brown and this really nice light shade right here. That way everything just gets nice and blended out. Why is it that we make the stupidest faces when we're doing makeup? I'm telling you, it's like, does that even help at all? Like, I don't get it. And then with an even smaller brush, I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to highlight my inner corner and the brow bone. Okay, so back to the face. Let's, fi bleh. Let's finish that up. I'm going to take Milani's A Baked Blush in the shade Luminoso. And I'm going to put that all over the apples of my cheeks. For my highlight today, I'm going to use a combination. I love mixing Champagne Pop and the Artist Couture Diamond Glow Powder. And this is in the shade Illuminati. You know, call it Illuminati. I guess it's Illuminating Illuminati. So um, all you need is a little bit and a little bit. That's all. I'm going to go in with Ofra's liquid lipstick in the shade Santa Ana. I think it'll look very pretty with this look. So this is the finished look right here. I did spray some uh, Milani's Make It Last setting spray. It is the most amazing setting spray I have tried from the drugstore. And 
I've already gone through like three of them because I spray my brushes before I go in with um, with shimmer eyeshadows, with pigments, with foil eyeshadows. Uh, I just love it because it really just makes the shadows pop like it did here. And yes, this was pretty much an Instagram inspired makeup look. And again, the uh, page that I found it on is called Insta Makeup LA. Um, and that's basically, that's basically it. There's no other name except for the that name. So I was very inspired. I loved the gold, the bronze, the copper in it. And of course, I did my own little spin on it, um, like everyone does. I didn't replicate it exactly. I even changed the lip color. I really hope you enjoyed this look. Please like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. My next video will be Sunday at 3 p.m. and I have a little treat in store for you guys. I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this makeup tutorial that you'll see on Sunday for a very, very, very long time. It's so different. Um, I know other people have done looks like this already on YouTube, but for me it's very different and I've worked so hard to seriously perfect this look for you and I even put it to the test and I've worn it out before. So I'm not going to say any more because I want to leave it as a surprise and may, please make sure to stay tuned on Sunday at 3 p.m. just so you can see what I'm talking about. It's another side of me, another side of makeup and I'm super, super excited. So don't forget to uh, follow me on all my social media, on Instagram, on uh, Snapchat as well and I'm pretty active on Instagram not so much on Snapchat oh, I need to get better at that but definitely follow me on my Instagram and I'll see you next time all right bye